Hey guys, um, I just wanted to make a short video about a common scam in Facebook Marketplace. So as you can see here, I have my browser open with um, Facebook Marketplace in it. And if I search up Nintendo Switch, you can see here that there are some um, listings that look real, but in the end they're fake. So like if you find something with this code at the end, maybe A142, A092, or A447, that's just a common trick among scammers to, to persuade you that it's a legit item by adding in these four letters and numbers into the listing to make it look legit. And another, another way to know that this is a scam is because this person over here joined Facebook not too old. He joined in 2022, which is very young. And as you can see here, you can see that he has all these other other listings and he lives in Karachi, Pakistan. So you know that this is a scam because he doesn't live where he's supposed to. You can see that he's trying to scam with more consoles. Another one is this one over here. She joined in 2020. Um, she has a lot of these. Um, she has um, very low prices for very expensive stuff. Like this one over here, you could see her face. And really enough, it's really a scam, to be honest. It's not even, you know, what you expect off of a real person. So there was another one, let's see this one. David Richard, who joined Facebook in 2013 and doesn't live in California. But if you look at his listing, you can see here that um, he's African American. But if you look at one of his listings, actually, if you look at this one here, you can see that his hand is a little white. You can see this one too. Um, but yeah, um, this one here, you can know this is scam because he's black and the other one here, you can see that his palm is white. So yeah, this is actually a scam too. And you can see that he's not only targeting La Mesa, California, but in Tolleson, Arizona. And these are all different people, basically. And there's also this one here who is um, in Illinois. So basically that's another way you could um, see these scams. There's also another one where, um, like for example, this one here, she joined in 2021. She lives in Kenya. And really enough, she doesn't live in San Diego. So really enough, this is a scam too. And usually enough, it's targeting the downtown San Diego area. So it's not like going anywhere like maybe Coronado or maybe uh, San Bernardino. But yeah, these are all common scams. So what you could do is either report the scam on Marketplace, like for example, this one here. Um, you could go here, um, click on the three dots and report listing, scam, and click on done. So yeah, you could do that. But yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Um, beware of common scams, anything that has like a product number at the end, or like um, view the person's profile if he posted, he or she posted something. You can see here that this is made in with AI. She lives in Pennsylvania, but she's selling in California. So you know that this is going to be a scam. And she is, she, this profile looks like it's AI generated. That's the danger with um, real and AI profiles that AI is already like creating all these um, real profiles that, um, that are used for scamming. So yeah, AI plays a part in these scams too. Even this one here, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like it's real. It's a real um, person writing this. And if you view this person's profile, well, yeah. He just updated his profile picture. That's it. So, yeah, doesn't really even 
matter. It's either they're use, the scammers are hacking into these um, profiles to sell these scams, or it's the scammers themselves pretending to be real people. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out there. See here that even though he joined in 2012, he lives in Goma. So it might be a scam, basically. He might, um, the scammer might go into other people's, uh, how do I say that, other people's profiles and hack them and then use them to sell scam listings. So I just wanted to get, get that out there. Just be careful on what you view on Facebook Marketplace and to review any minor details that seem off or oddly suspicious. Also review the um, person's uh, profile and to be sure that what you're looking is a legit um, legit item. You can also reverse image, Google image search it um, if you think that it's still, you know, a scam. But if nothing comes up, well, there's a chance that it might be legit. I just want to get that out there. Thank you for watching and consider liking the video and subscribing. Share this to your friends and family and I'll see you in the next one.